Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I do these pond readings today. Three feet down is 51. Six feet down is 48. The tunnel temperature is at 53. 54. Okay. And our surface temp. Uh, I'm going to say 48. Yeah, 48. We feed up the cheese. All right. See a big koi right there. Oh, you just swam away. Okay, so at least I saw the big koi. Um, the other koi are right here. Doing good. There they are. They're all doing good. I've got a hole in here draining, and I've got a hole over there draining, because eh, I think fresh rainwater be pretty good for the pond right about now. I, I, I think uh, it'll be a good thing. So, yeah, there they are. Sitting there resting, checking me out, wondering what the heck I'm doing. What I'm gonna do today is, I mean, it's not really nice weather, as you can tell. We have no sun. Uh, with the fog just lifted. It's already about 1.30 now. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart right here. I'm going to pull up the pump, and I'm going to inspect the pump. While it's, like, no wind, I mean, you could see the trees. They're not really blowing or anything. So we really have maybe a mile or two hour wind, if that. So basically... Yeah, I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. I see foam, and that's never a good thing. So, yeah, we all know why we get foam on top of the water. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to check that pump out real quick. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear apart over there and there. I think I'm just going to take it and move it all off so that way I can check the waterfalls too and make sure that they're not re clogged again or anything like that. And then I can tighten up this whole poly tunnel because I never tightened it up after the wind tore it apart. So we have a lot of excess material that's here that needs to be, yeah, it, it definitely just needs to be uh, pulled over and tightened back down again. I mean, look at the divot in that. So, and yeah, that's all water in here. So I need to, I need to get rid of that. So yeah, so I need to tighten this back up again, get rid of the water, and we should be good to go. So as soon as I get this all tore apart, I'll get right back with you. Okay, got this all undone. I see the koi down there. I don't know if you can, but I can. They seem pretty happy, they're swimming around. They look really good. Okay, now that's the big koi. That's the big koi pond. Okay, now we're gonna look at the small koi. They're all over there. Oh my gosh, I hate this net. This net is such a freaking pain in the butt. Yeah, I wish I would've never put that on there. All right, I'm gonna pull up. I'm putting this here before, pretty darn sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that water's cold. Not like it was the other time. The other time it wasn't so bad. This time it seems a lot colder and I don't know why. Yeah, it's not really growing back too bad. I mean, there is some string algae over here, but it's not really... It's not as... Well, there went some hornwort. 
but it's not really as bad as what I thought it was going to be when I looked in here. Get this out of here. There's some here. That's not bad. That's not terrible. But I do want to see what that damn pump looks like. Okay. This is going to be over here. Oh, that water is so freaking cold. Oh, either that or it just appears to be cold. I don't know which one it is, but it doesn't seem like something I want to put my hands in. Let's put it that way. There, we'll get that over there. We're going to pull out some more string algae. Ugh. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I wish I could grip it better. But I've got this huge chain link on top, which is stopping me from being able to really grab a hold of a, of a lot of it. There we go. That's quite a bit. That's more out of the pond. I'm all down with that. Oh. Yeah, I just don't know how I'm going to get to that pump. Ugh. Man, I wish I... I wish I had clear access to this pump. I can't reach the other side of it. Oh, come over here, buddy. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get to it. I have to lift this whole thing up. I don't know. Maybe if I reach in. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yay. Let me see what we got. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug this pump. And pull it up. <sighs> Let's see what we got going on. Let me unplug it really quick. Because I don't want to pull it up while it's running. No, oh, come on, get off me. <sighs> Let me unplug it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now I can pull it up. Ugh. Maybe. There we go. Oh no. That's a tragedy. You see what I did? Yeah. Now it's now I have to somehow fish that pump out of the bottom. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. Son of a Oh my gosh, I don't even know how that even happened. Alright, so, this is not going to be fun. Oh my gosh. Well, if you do that, like I did, 
don't panic. Just remember, you can always pull it up by the cord, which you're not supposed to do. But, you know what? Sometimes, you just got to do what you're not supposed to do. Because it's the only way to do it. So, don't panic. I mean, you can always, you can always do it with the wrong way. In an emergency situation, like what I'm dealing with right now, and I've got her, and as you can see, eh, she's pretty well covered with more algae. So obviously I didn't suspend her good enough, or she's just sucking it in that's loose, I don't know. So we're going to figure that one out. And we're getting a lot more. Oh, good heavens. Ugh. Well, you know, the more I can pull out, the less it's in my pond, right? I mean, gosh, I wish I could just hook up my filtration and then just stick some hydrogen peroxide in here and kill it all off. But that's a perfect world and we all don't live in that world. So we just kind of like make do with what we got. Ugh. And that's all what we're gonna do. Yeah, I'll get the hose out. I'll open it up and make sure there's the impeller's not obstructed, which I don't think it is because it was flowing really nice into the other pond, so I'm really not too terribly concerned about it. But, I mean, hey, we got it up out of the water. Might as well go ahead and check it, right? All right, let me get her out. Let me get all this algae off of it. There we go. All right. Let me grab you guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you in here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right. Okay, well, there's our pump. I'm just going to get the hose out. I'm going to unclamp these really quick, get the hose out, give it a good washing again, and I'll be right back. Okay, back again. I've got this off. So it looked like maybe some little pieces got in there. But in a hole, I can see that the impeller is fine it doesn't have string algae in it and <clears throat> for the most part it's fairly clean free of algae anyway so i'll rinse that out the only algae that got in here is right there and i just I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of it off and i'll get right back to you okay we got the pump cleaned out wasn't that bad actually i was expecting to see worse all right, let me set you guys back up there so you see what I'm doing. Now, I've got to find the end piece, which is over here. Pain in the budinski. Ugh. That's uh, all good, whatever. It'll be okay. We got this. Who doesn't like a good challenge, right? Okay. No, stay up there, buddy. Come on, stay up there. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just screwing the two ends back on, the one that came apart. Ugh. There we go. We got her. Okay. Okay. Now we've got her tightly fastened again. So that won't happen again, hopefully. And now I know better. Oh, see? I had that cord wrapped around my foot again. Okay, this time I'm smart enough to check that first. After doing it twice the last time. 
All right, let me see if I can grab any other algae. I wonder if it wouldn't be better, honestly, if I just put the pump right here, because you know what? I don't see any string algae, and there's really no reason. Yeah, there's really no reason I need to put it at the bottom of the pond right now. I mean, in all honesty, do I really need to do that? I don't think so. And all, the whole area over here is like there's no string algae right here. There's none. So if I just put the pump right here. No, oh, get over there. Ugh. Yeah, if I just put the pump right here. Oh, I think I'll have better luck. I just got that off the hose. Jeez. Ugh. I think I'll have better luck uh, being able to clean it. Like, I mean, you know, if I got to do this like in January or February, at least the pump's right here. Where I can easily get it out, right? Yeah, that all that string algae is right along this hose. That's where I'm getting this. So here, let's try this. Let's try this. I think I'd much rather do it this way. All right, well, there's a seal that just came off, and it was off of this one piece, so I'm not really worried about it right now. Yeah. And, of course, I have the hose facing the wrong way. It couldn't have been facing up. But hey, you know, it's the way we roll. We don't do things the right way. We do things the weird way. All right, so I'm going to take this pump. Oh, there we go. I'm going to shove this down in here. And I want it facing the opposite way. So we're going to do this. And that'll be fine. It can go down that way. It doesn't matter if it's hanging up there. I don't care. All right. So let's get her sitting on the shelf. What is she sitting on now? What is what is stopping her? There we go. Get down there, baby. Come on, girl. Get down there. Ugh. Yeah, let me get this up. This is going to be a two-handed job. Oh, I see why she's not going back there. It's because the hose is right there. All right, there, let's get her right there, and then, there, point this in the other direction, there we go, there, oh my goodness. Yeah, and then I'll be able to, I'll be able to really keep an eye on this pump now. So that's actually, I think, a really good idea. At least I'm hoping. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And I am going to, just for right, oh my goodness gracious, look what I'm seeing. Hopefully I'm not spinning you guys upside down. If I am, I apologize, but looky what I'm seeing right there. My fish are my boys, and they're coming up to the top. Looky, there they are. Oh, hi, babies. I'm doing this because I love you. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and plug this in really quick. I'm going to plug it in. Yeah, it always starts out. With a huge, dramatic, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Let's see what that does. Ugh. See, now I can at least keep an eye on it. I think that's going to be better, actually, guys. Yeah, so that way I can keep it away from the string algae. And I can keep checking it in this corner... And if I see it, it's going to be easy to pull out, clean up real quick, and put back in. And I know it's running because I can see the current. 
And, oh, ho, ho, look at my babies. Hi, babies. Oh, my gosh, I love you guys so much. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, my gosh, I miss seeing them so much. This is such an awesome gift. Awesome Christmas gift that I get to see my babies. Oh, hi, sweethearts. Hello, babies. Oh, my gosh. I love them fish. I know I'm stupid. Oh, look at there they go. Oh, my gosh. If I didn't have all this netting, you'd be able to see them better. And so would I. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. They look beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Everybody looks so healthy down there. I can see their fins really good. They look awesome. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. All right. So we got Flo. There it is. I really don't want to turn up the flow right now. Because I don't know what the waterfalls look like. Oh, that water is cold. Yeah, we're going to leave. make sure this pump stays underwater. There we go. There. What is that floating over there? What is that? Oh, it's water hyacinth. Okay. Uh, let me get that over here. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to reach that. I'll have to get a net or something, but it'll stay right in that area. Wow, what a treat that was. I get to see my big koi. I got to see my babies over there watching me. They've been hanging right there watching. Oh, my gosh, that was awesome. Oh, that just made my day. Oh, I can't, you have no idea how much that just made my day. To be able to see the big koi that close swimming around and knowing that they're all happy and healthy. That made my day. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be happier today. Ah, oh, what an awesome day this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Yep, there they are. Oh my gosh. Hello, babies. Oh my gosh, I just want to give them a big old fishy hug. Oh, I'm so happy. Yay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Get this whole little situation cleaned up. I got a mess. I got the hose out. Thank goodness it's not, what, 20 below. Can you imagine me trying to do this in 20 below? Ugh. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Um, but yeah, I once I get everything cleaned up, I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm back. All right. Hubby went ahead and helped me check out the waterfalls. Uh, we took apart the straw on the other side. It all needed to be tightened from the wind that we had. And I will show you how bad it got. Look at this. Oh my God. I don't know if you could see it. It's just literally everywhere. I'm just gonna keep pulling. It's all you can do. But I could tell it was getting too low again. Oh, this pond is... Oh, gosh. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Oh. Yeah, see, I couldn't see on this side when I went around and moved the straw before. I couldn't see this. I'm going to have to check that other waterfall and see if it's built up like this over there. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this all winter. Well, this is what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with 49 mile an hour wind gusts. So, we're going to go ahead and refasten this in a different way. There we go. Now we've got them tied down, so that's helping a lot as far as having it be pulling on the sides. So, there you go. 
and then we fixed the hole that was put in right there. So that's helpful. All right. Yay. Hopefully this will work, but yeah, 50 mile an hour winds will 49, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's only natural that it was going to start ripping. Okay, we're back. Now that you saw what we had to deal with, with our 50 mile an hour winds, I don't think I ever showed you that. So at least now you got to see what we were dealing with. And yeah, it was pretty bad. It normally doesn't get that windy here. I mean, usually it's 20 up to 20 mile an hour winds at worst. But yeah, that was a pretty big storm that came through, a windstorm. So it was, I guess, to be expected. But yeah, this is nice and calm. The breeze has picked up just a little bit, as you can tell. But we're going to go ahead and throw in our beneficial bacteria now that we're done with that. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to leave this open for right now. Um, yeah. I just let it go like that because it's only going to get down to the high 40s tonight and then it's going to be back up in the 50s again tomorrow but you know I got that closed up but you know what since we have no sun it's not going to make any difference if I have that one open or closed it's all the same air going through and without the sun being up I don't need to vent that one so I'm just going to leave that one shut for the night be done with it that's already done and I can see the boys. Look at the big boys. There they are. Oh, my goodness. They don't know if it's spring or if it's still fall. Or They're like, should we sleep? Should we eat? We don't know what we're going to do. We're still looking at 51 degrees here. And as you can tell, the lights are coming on on the barn. So you can tell it's getting dark. So... It's right around 4 o'clock, 4.15 in the afternoon. So it's going to get dark here pretty darn quick. But we've got the flow going really good, as you can see, way over in that corner. And we got the tunnel. It's right about 52, 53. And we're looking at 48 degrees down by where the koi are supposed to be, six feet down that are now swimming around 51, I, you know, they're pretty smart because if I had a choice to go down to 48 or 51, I think I'd pick 51. So I don't blame them. So yeah, that's, that's not terrible. So at least the, the falls are open. I don't know if you can see the fall from over here, but that's it right there. Right there, right in that area is where the fall is. And I can see it's opened up and flowing nicely. We have Everything running properly again, and like I said, I got out quite a bit out of that bog right there in that whole area. I was able to reach underneath that chain link because it's not is it doesn't go all the way to the end like this one does. There's quite a distance, so I was able to reach in there really good and get a lot of algae out, which is going to stop it from coming over here and plugging that one up. So that was I was happy about that. But, yeah, so that's it. If I forgot to answer any questions, if I said something earlier in this video and said, you know, and said I'll explain it, whatever, I apologize. I don't remember now what it was. It's late. <laughs> it, it was said at noon. <laughs> I don't remember. So if there's anything I forgot to mention, just put it in the comments and I'll, I'll answer it or show you in the next video which I wasn't expecting to do another video before Christmas, but like I said, this happened. So, yeah, I'm not going to hide anything from anybody. Um, you know, we really didn't think we would have to be doing all this, but again, we had the late spawn, and we've got the fry in there. So instead of hitting it with the hydrogen peroxide, 3%, like I normally would at the end of the season to get away any algae or anything like that the string algae so it's nice and it starts out where they don't have to deal with that yeah i i left it in there i wanted the fry to have something to eat and it just was the worst mistake i think i ever made i should have just hit it hard when i had the filter still up and yeah and just let it be and find out what happens but i felt bad for them and i didn't want them to go all winter long without being able to munch on something so 
created my own problem. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, we won't have to deal with this next year. We have plans for next year, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna stress about it. But we did what we could this year and how far we got on the pond this year. So now we're dealing with it. And I still wouldn't change a thing. Um, you know, I love the pond. I love the fish. So it's worth it what we won't do for our fish. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. All right. So everybody have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Sorry this was such a long video, but I wanted you guys to be able to see it and see what we had to do. And I will catch you on the next video. If you like this one, go ahead and click the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. We have some more crazy content because I guarantee you this is a not the last this is a not the last time we are going to have to deal with this pond. So if you want to see this crazy woman digging in her pond in minus 20 degree weather, this is a channel you need to be on because I guarantee you I will do it if it happens again. So with that being said, thank you everybody and have a very Merry Christmas. And a happy new year if I don't talk to you before then. Thanks for watching. Bye.